We have here a 2003 Ford Expedition with a Triton 5.4 liter engine. Um, one of the, the problems that seems to be common with the Ford models is the uh, dreaded P0171 and P0174 uh, code, which means on bank one and bank two. Um, some of the videos that have been on YouTube have said, oh, it's pretty obvious it's this uh, little PVC elbow, but uh, they really haven't shown exactly where it is or it's kind of hard to locate. Well, I managed to locate it, and um, here we have, I'll put this down a little bit. This is the piece that disintegrated. It almost looks like it melted, which is kind of interesting. So it's probably from accumulation of engine heat that just completely soften the um the rubber here and cause the the hole to appear and this is the replacement and i just picked this up at o'reilly's this is a uh um equivalent nine dollar piece which uh kind of tells you that this is a common failure problem because they charge so much for it probably cost them all about three cents to manufacture but nine dollars is a lot easier to to stomach than having a mechanic charge you 250 to replace this so the question is okay where is it you know, without crawling into falling in through the engine okay you can see the other piece I haven't taken off yet but it's it's right back here at least on this engine and uh, uh, and then this course is the other hose that hooks in through that uh, elbow so that's that's the location right here on the left side kind of up underneath the uh, the engine housing here um, of where that's located and once you replace that you're pretty much going to be able to uh, eliminate that uh, low idle shuttle and our shutter in that uh, those two air codes for me to leave so I hope this is helpful, at least in identifying where to look, at least on this engine. I, you know, from the base, uh, from the looks of how um, dirt and deposits uh, kind of form on this engine, it, it looks like the fan, or not the fan, but the, the blower kind of blows heat back in this area. So that's probably one of the primary reasons why that's affecting that particular elbow over a period of time. So. I hope this helps uh, for those that are trying to identify this problem and exactly where it is because some of the other videos that have been on YouTube haven't really shown it uh, completely in its location. Thanks. Okay, it took me all of about, oh, maybe less than five minutes to actually replace it once I got a, a little knife and cut off the, uh, the piece that uh, goes into... Um, the engine manifold there but you can see it right there that's the elbow it seems to be kind of under stress meaning that the angle in which it connects to this the hose going over there to the right um, versus what's on the bottom seems to have some tension to it so I suspect that also precipitated it failing over a period of years so anyway that's the location we back out you can kind of see it there um, that's definitely a spot to check. Fortunately, you can actually check that because, you know, leave it to car manufacturers to design an engine in a car where it's almost impossible to work on. And this happens to be one of the cases here. So anyway, I hope this helps everyone. Thanks.